Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental. <clears throat> so, uh, this is Series 2, and you notice that the, um, the SV is gone. Yeah, I multi-tooled it down, the uh, space tank. And we're going to bring in a better, more... Um, more, <clears throat> let's say, combat ready SV, even though that it's not all oh, hardened steel. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already I put the multi tooled parts into my SV box top medium blueprint, and it only took one second to spawn because of that. So let's spawn that in. So you guys have already seen this from last episode, so it's not that big of a deal. Spawn that there. <clears throat> okay. So we have a new SV, and this is not how I want these guns. <clears throat> Sorry, you're going to have to um, deal with my throat clearing and, and sniffling, and I've got major, major sinus problems right now, and the doctor is trying to fix that I, I'm actually <clears throat> I was on steroids and they weren't working so now I got to go to a specialist and they're gonna likely cauterize my sinuses so <laughs> until then you'll just have to put up with the um, <clears throat> with the problems um, I can't take sinus decongestant because it actually is causing more problems than uh, it's actually doing damage to my mucus glands, which uh, are making it even worse. So, <clears throat> sorry, people. Uh, I'll try not to talk as much as possible. <laughs> um, okay, so in the meantime, what we need to do is I want to redo these guns here. So let's pop these off. Because from last episode, you'll remember that one hit destroyed all my guns in the front and that was not cool <clears throat> so I think this time we're going to use um, a different location for the guns initially now I had them working here before I think I want to do that again Place these blocks with the ones that we just took out. <clears throat> that, like that, and I guess we'll just join those up there. All right, yep. Oops, really? Ugh. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Texture this up. Actually, we'll do the whole block. Try the whole block. There we go. That's a little better. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll paint that. Just, uh, oh, we want to do green and apply the whole block. Okay. There we go. So we move those. <coughs> Let's paint those black. 
let's see. Oh, did I miss some paint there? Yeah. Let's see if. Uh, let's see if I can actually make a couple more. I should put some down. <clears throat> some more in here. Maybe right there. A couple right there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can make a couple more. Go in the advanced constructor here. Oh, good. We've got our fuel cells ready. And you'll notice we have a whole bunch of pentaxid because we mined out a bunch on the moon, <clears throat> which is fantastic. Okay, so let's get these made. Oops, weapons. Uh, ooh. Oh, I'm, I can't only make like one. I gotta get more. But I should be able to. Yeah, I can make two of these. Okay, good. <clears throat> All those golems with their uh, sathium and the and the neo that I got from the golems is gonna allow me to do this stuff here. This is awesome. <clears throat> okay, so once that is done, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, what? enough we might as well just wait for it so this is exciting the HV is all um, hyped up and it works awesome and oh you know what we'll do uh, I also put a I'm gonna pop this turret off actually let's do that right now what, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pop the multi turret off second and then we'll this needs to be painted so let's let's figure something out for this this is all wrong here we gotta fix this we gotta fix this <clears throat> let's uh that whole block that's fine and let's paint that good enough um, although that's the wrong texture, isn't it? Although I am getting a little picky, but, you know, I gotta look at this every day. Well, not every day, but I gotta look at it. Okay. Look at that. <clears throat> and, that. and I think I want to do something here. That looks really kludgy. to do something here. So covering that up all the way to there caused me to eject out of the cockpit out in front, which is not ideal. So <clears throat> I think I can get away with just one row and then we'll try it. So let's make some, make some blocks here. I don't think I have any left on me. No. Nope. Uh, we'll make ten. Probably have to replace them as we go anyway from getting shot out and whatnot. <clears throat> okay, so that's ready. What we'll do is. Let's do this, straight across. Well, that's not too heinous. And then we'll, oops. Texture that. And paint it. And that's gonna be green. Okay. Okay, let's actually try that really quick, just to see if it ejects us out the, the front, like it was before. And nope, now it's standing us right there, right where we want to be. 
Yeah, good, good. Okay, good. And we can just walk straight up now. Okay, we don't even have to jump. Good, good, good. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Let's paint this up. And, yep, yeah, that's painted. Okay. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to publish this. <clears throat> so let's do this from the front. And really, I like, why does every time I try and do something, it's dark out? <laughs> huh. Well, you know what? Before I publish it, then we'll just um, we'll do this. We'll put uh, let's zap this, and then we can put these missiles in, or rocket launchers, I should say. And good enough. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing to there. <clears throat> oh. What? Did that not go in all the way? Okay, do I want it to go in all the way? What's that going to look like? Does it look better with it out or in one? Let's see. Let's do in one. Okay. Let's texture and paint this. Uh, texture first. All right, let's get our drone. Much easier to get on funky angles. Oops. Oh, I'm using the wrong texture. I'm totally using the wrong texture. It's this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do the apply to whole block and medium. Okay. Derp a derp. And then we'll paint that up. So that's going to be green. And then this is all going to be black. sure if I like the... Oh, it is recessed, so that's not bad. At least it'll be somewhat protected. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to republish this one with these updates, too. It's going to be slightly more expensive because of the um, additional missiles. But I find that two missiles just aren't enough now. I need four to take out a turret in one shot. Two just don't cut it no more. Okay, so... Okay, well, let's publish this one really quick. We'll republish this one. No, I don't want that. I want to go like this and take everything.
everything out of my arm and there we go. Here, let's get rid of that. We'll republish. SV box top medium. <clears throat> So it's going to increase the amount of sathium and neo. Okay. Let's take a look to see what it's at now. Yeah. Oh well. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then we're also going to publish this one. Now this has no name yet, so this is a new publish. Let's save as HV box stop. We'll call it medium also. It means that it's Almost as upgraded as it can be. Oops, let's uh, let's spell that right. That... Okay. <clears throat> Medium. And oh, I guess we can go in and HV box top medium. We'll publish that. Okay, so it's not going to be the cheapest thing to spawn in, but it has, and it's level 10, but it actually rocks. This is quite the hot rod. It's not a combat HV. It can protect itself, but it's it's a drilling, exploring, uh, resource gathering HV, and it's really good at that. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. We've got our vehicles updated, and republished with the updates so uh, oh geez we need to actually make some ammo we need to make we've got a whole bunch of magnesium from the moon so we're golden there let's make rockets so they're just the 130 MSLs and we get six per so that's 60 120, 180. We'll start with 180. Okay, so while that's doing that, let's put this back on. And we'll paint that too. So the reason why I took this off before I published it, because this, this would make it super duper expensive and not really doable at 10th level. Okay. <clears throat> I'll leave it on once we get the uh, laser drills updated though. I'll, I'll publish it with that. So now we've got a fully featured, pretty much full featured HV. You know what we need to do? We need to test out the clone chamber. We need to go suicide and check this out, I think. Huh? We need to test that. We absolutely do. So Let's do that. Oh, let's actually paint this first. Let's paint it. Now that's got to be green, right? Because that's on the green part. So there we go. Blends in a little better. Okay. Okay. There we go. How does this look when it comes down? Yep, it's a nice, nice green. Okay. So there we go. <coughs> Let's go commit suicide. Uh, now, have I actually died? No, I haven't died yet. Level 20 and 196 kills. So I'm going to commit suicide on purpose. I know it's for, this is strictly for testing people. I, I don't, this isn't like an Iron Man right now. I mean, obviously if this is Iron Man, I wouldn't suicide. So I think what we need to do first is, and the other thing I was thinking of, I might actually put a cockpit inside here too. And that way I don't need to pop out all the time. But in the meantime, we'll just, um, hmm. So 
go into here and we can how do we make this our home do I have to power it up let's power it up and then oh it needs some repairs eh? <clears throat> now what about if we go like this no Um, hmm. I guess we just got to see if it'll clone us at, in here at the nearest. Hmm. I was kind of hoping it was actually going to let us, uh, here, let's jump, let's jump into the cockpit here. I was really hoping it was actually going to let us make this our home. So I'm, I'm just hoping that it will will automatically spawn in here. So what I want to do first is take all my stuff off so that it doesn't get all screwed up when I die. <clears throat> so we'll just we'll take the, where's my equipment, equipment, there it is. Get my armor off, we'll just throw it in there. And then, there, we'll just dump the rest of this. Oh, here, let's, we'll just quickly put this in here. Okay. <clears throat> stuff in the cargo boxes. Let's put all our stuff in here. Okay, I've got nothing on me. Okay, so we're gonna try it with it running first and then without it running and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I might have to go into God mode to come back if I teleport halfway across the planet. We are testing, by the way, so. Now, I do not have a clone chamber in here. So, this can't spawn me. This is the only thing I have that's going to be capable of spawning me. So, let's just go drown. We'll just go drown. That's easy. We gonna die! Oh no! I can't breathe! Maybe. Can't breathe. Anytime now. Start suffocating anytime. Okay, anytime now. I'm gonna freeze to death before I suffocate. Okay, anytime. <laughs> what? Oh, here we go. <laughs> that took a long time for me to start suffocating. Okay. <clears throat> See, when I die, I die on my terms. Okay, hurry up. Kill me. <clears throat> well, not always. <laughs> Sometimes I just die. Okay, so let's see what happens. And what's it going to do? Nearest medic clone chamber. Respawn at HV box top starter. Look at that. Sweet! Look at that, we're in... Alright, so that worked. Okay, we're gonna kill ourselves again. This time, with this turned off.
<coughs> so it takes quite a while before you start suffocating. That's good to know. You can actually go down and potentially get some uh, get some seaweed. Okay, that seemed to be a lot faster than last time. <coughs> As we die, we'll see if it gives us the option. It should spawn us pretty close to the base anyway if I um, if it's not gonna let us spawn in the clone chamber. Okay, let's see what happens. Here we go. Testing the HV clone chamber when it's turned off. And respawn at HV box top starter. And it spawned me in here anyway, even though it's turned off. So, fantastic. That's very cool. That's very cool. Okay, so let's. Um, grab all our stuff. Grab all our stuff. <clears throat> God, I carry a lot of crap, don't I? We'll get this back where it's supposed to be. Oops. Yeah, I don't really care that I killed myself a couple times. It's, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Remember, this is an alpha uh, test, experimental. So, <laughs> you know, the whole point of this is test. I would say that was actually uh, pretty successful. We, we spawned both times in the HV with it turned on and turned off. <clears throat> Now, I'm curious to see what the distance on that is. That's really curious. We might have to test that. We might have to go kill ourselves way far away, like jump on the jump on a motorcycle and just like... Now, I, I think we're done the, the death testing for now. <laughs> we, we know that under normal circumstances right now... And, you know, I just had a heart attack, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, scares me every time those frickin' things shoot. Okay. So we'll keep those blocks on us. Oh, I guess we need to grab our armor. <clears throat> we'll put that on. Okay. Okay. So we know we can just turn it off without it being subject to... Or uh, without uh, it screwing up our our cloning ability, so that's awesome. That was great. That's that's fantastic. New gear seems to be working. So next thing we're gonna do, we're actually going to go for your viewing pleasure. Where is it here? Yes, the armory. <clears throat> the armory is in the way of me getting to the Titan parts. Well, specifically this one. I can get to this one, no problem. But this one, it actually shoots at me. And there's some pre Prometheum around. Not a lot, but still. Uh, also, the shrine is floating up in the air. But I don't really want to explore the shrine yet without another way of retrieving my ship. So that means getting the CV up and flying. <clears throat> also, I want to hit level 25 because there's some new CV drills that we want to try out. Okay, so let's let's mark that. Let's mark that. We're going to take on the armory today. And here, let's grab a bunch of food. <clears throat> grab some food. 
at all the meat I've got. Triceratops just gives you a ton now. Tons and tons of food. And... Better let just eat some of this. You know what we need? Let's grab some uh, explosive devices. And the missiles are ready. Yeah, we're gonna go foot assault a base after we take on the turrets with light armor. So I'm expecting to die again. And that'll actually test the HV distance. <laughs> not that I'm going to try and die. I'll try not to die, okay? I'll, I'll try not to die. Just, if I do die, not a big deal. It'll, it'll, it'll play into our testing. Okay, so let's get in here. And we'll get all this loaded up. So load all, fill all, fill all. And is all of this properly... Uh, who cares about that? That just doesn't matter. I don't care if that's not grouped. Everything else is, and they have the engines. Okay. <clears throat> so. Let's get this stuff in the fridge. One of the fridges. And we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. So, oh right, let's turn our markers back on. Uh, where is it? Armory, there we go. Let's head over there. And of course, you know, it's raining. That might be out. So, I will meet you over there. Okay, we're almost there and we have random drone for no reason flying around. Which seems to happen quite a bit in Alpha 8, which I'm, which I'm super cool with. Oh, yeah. And we'll just kill him. <coughs> and loot him. <coughs> some good stuff. <clears throat> okay, we'll keep heading to the armory. Uh, we're close enough, I won't cut out. I'll just, um, I'll just drag you guys there. And we have, we have contact. We have radar contact over here. Why do we have radar contact? <clears throat> we have not discovered everything? Really? Oh, the other piece of the Titan. Okay, good. So, where's my crosshairs? There they are. 30. Oops. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot them with my missiles. Let's So the armory, let's 
hang on. Let's just go like this for a quick second. We're going to go into our field of view. And we're going to turn this down. It kind of, it creates the effect of a zoom. Okay, so now, where is the turrets? So there's one on that corner. So if we come around this way, <clears throat> let's come around this way. If we minimize the amount of shots that can be directed towards us, then That was easy. Okay. <clears throat> now, there's two ways of doing it. Um, we could just assault it by foot. <clears throat> but I think for time purposes, we're not going to bother. You've, I've already showed you the armory by foot. It's, there's, there's not a lot to it. I did that last series, so... I don't need to do... Oh, look at this. The patrols. Here we go. So patrols now on the outside of POIs. Look at this. Xerax on the outside of POIs. So let's take care of these guys. Now... Because there's dudes all around, now I'm a little leery of going down and and looting. I think we need to actually check out to see if there's any more dudes. Let's um let's clear these trees. guy's still pissed at me? Oh, Come on, Z, let's start flying. There we go. <clears throat> it's not the easiest thing to do to aim straight down, actually. And keep it steady. Oh, there's more dudes over there. See them? Okay. And then... Let's get rid of this guy. That guy, we're gonna get rid of some more. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Big nasty baddies here. Holy shit, a large patrol of 
of mechs. This guy. Or, you know, maybe not. Jesus. Let's, um, let's try blowing these guys up. Got one. Can I board one at a time? Now, makes big craters in the floor, right on. <laughs> Cratered them. All right. This guy will just deal with. Good XP. Wow. Okay, let's keep looking. Now, I thought I saw more guys over here, so let's keep looking. And let's, um, let's shoot these trees out. <coughs> now, can I shoot these shrubs out? Yep. Not very environmentally friendly, but uh, I just want to get a good, good, good view of. Okay, see, there's a guy there, and another guy there. Oh, more guys! Oh, and. Dogs? Bat dogs? Holy crap, there is... You can't get to these things on foot anymore. Holy crap. Look at this. This is insane. Okay, uh, obviously, this is also hard mode uh, critters, so the spawns are a little bit more insane. Where are they all coming from? Look at this. It's a, it's a steady parade of them. This is awesome. Look at that. Okay, I... I are they going to be able to shoot at me? I don't know. I don't, I don't want them to. Do this, so. Oh yeah, he can shoot. He can shoot. <laughs> Another guy there. Not too worried about looting, as I say, because I'd rather kill everything. And it looks like they are just in the immediate vicinity, too, so. I wonder if, once you get close and they spawn, I wonder if they wander off into the wilderness. I wonder if you could get, like, wandering Xerox coming up to your base. Wouldn't that be epic? Oh my god. That would be just fantastic. <laughs> yes, I'm not being very environmentally friendly. I get that. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well, I don't see any more. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my goodness. Overlords? And spiders.
what's going on? I was getting shot at. I was getting shot at. What was I getting shot at by? What was I getting shot at by? Is there a turret there? No. Okay, what was I getting shot at by? Okay, so this is crazy. Are they respawning? Obviously, you won't have to do that all the time. Lots of times, lots of times they'll just be out. The POIs will be out in the open. <clears throat> well, that was um, that was crazy. There must have been twenty freaking troops around this. Okay. So I think now what we can do is just pop the core. We're just gonna shoot it out. Oh crap. And do they come down? Do they come down now? No. Will they path? Will they path off of the Oh oh they will! Well, if you, uh, <laughs> if you blow the stairs up. See that? So they. I wonder if they'll stop spawning now that I pop the core. Oops. Let's not turn the power off. Let's turn the lights off. So now that I pop the core, kill these guys. Okay, 
let's look around to see if anything else spawned. Spawns with the patrols. That's very interesting. Now we'll just wait a minute. Now, do I risk? out here and why let's zoom out a bit here so we can see oops that's okay spawn our drone spawn the drone come on spawn the drone thank you That was four mechs and a Xerox. And they despawn really quick. <clears throat> okay, let's see if. So, tons of spiders again. Let's wait to see if spawn. So that's really cool, eh? A new game mechanic. The uh, Xerox patrols. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, well, let's go check out the Titan parts. Let's see if so that's the ruined landing pad. Let's take a look at that. I couldn't get close to that before. I could only reveal it. Let's see if there's like spawns around it, but although it's not an enemy POI, so. Ruined landing pad. Oh, that's interesting. A little C SV landing pad. Huh. That's kind of cool. It can be turned into an interesting base. cargo container in there? Really? So let's let's take a look at the front part of the Titan. See if if we have any respawns. And do we have any patrols? So no. remember if there was a drone here originally. So we've got... Wow, wow. Really? I couldn't hit it? Okay. <laughs> and this isn't technically an enemy POI, so there shouldn't be any 
troll spawns. Nope. Okay. So that'll be doable. I'll be bringing the HP back to do that. So let's take a look at the other parts. <clears throat> this is the one I couldn't get to before. fly by, see if there's any more dudes that spawned. I'm thinking that last batch spawned just before I popped the core. Because it doesn't appear to be spawning anymore. Okay. So, it looks like once you kill the core, the, the exterior spawns stop also. Well, that's good, because I guess you don't want infinite Xerox spawning on your planet, right? Or do you? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay, let's go check out the mid part. And lots of trees. I'll have to cut down lots of these. Oh, 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 what do we got here? Oh no, those are just natives. Natives and spiders. Not a big deal. And no drones. Just lots of spiders. Lots of spiders. What, what, are they all wanting a piece of meat, really? Oh my, I can't shoot them. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's do this. Get them. Pull, pull them over here. And we'll try and get them all. In. Oh, kill two. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Die then. Oh, missed it. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I don't want to keep shooting missiles at these guys. like they're all pissed at me. Okay. Okay, I don't want to play with any more spiders. I don't need to play with spiders. They don't play nice anyway. There are awfully, oh man, they're like in, they're creeping around on. <sighs> yeah, that's not good. Oh, look at that, I killed them. Oh no, I thought I killed them all. Okay. Well, <laughs> holy crap, spiders everywhere. A little bit thing of Prometheum. So now I can actually get to these Prometheum. <sighs> really? Holy crap. Shoot missiles at them. Missiles at spiders. Overkill. Okay. Um. Well, I'm thinking I am going to leave the episode here. Yeah, that was awesome. We uh, we got to test out the clone chamber. We got to um, see the the Xerox patrols out in the wild, 
Uh, very, very cool, and a whole bunch of them, all the different types of patrols, patrolling the armory there, and just a lot of them. Wow, I was kind of surprised at that. Well, uh, until next episode, I think next episode I'll probably go warp. We're going to warp to somewhere and get some rare ores and try and get the uh, CV up in the air. So <clears throat> that'll be next episode. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.